978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T Man 978. Right now I'm gonna be taking a look at Fans Toys Parkour. Parkour is officially FT53. The, the number they designated for this particular character. And it's supposed to be a Transformers masterpiece equivalent to Generation 1 Autobot Cliff Jumper. I picked this up from Toy Dojo. I will have a link in the description. I'm not sure if they have any available, but give Toy Dojo a look. Anywho, why I wanted this guy is because just like a ton of other fans toys and Takara told me stuff. This one, and there have been quite a few different versions of a masterpiece equivalent. Cliff Jumper, mainly two that come to mind, x bots and Perfect Effect. I mean, not Perfect Effect, uh, Ocular Max. This one though is way more cartoon accurate. And the proportions are way better than the the other two options to me in fact i sold my x trans box immediately even before this even released once i saw this and put it on pre-order it looks way more cartoon accurate to me like the way the feet are the way the legs and crotch and the chest and they even with the extra mile trying their best to get this backpack to look like it did. Of course, on the back, on a cartoon, his back is way flatter, but realistically, they couldn't do it. Nicely painted, pretty much completely painted. Here is the default face. Yeah, I mean, in the packaging, the waist is rotated all the way around for whatever reason, and Maybe this isn't connected right here at the bottom, but you should be able to figure it out yourself. The arms are backwards for some dumb reason. It's easy, so I'm not even gonna dwell on that or sit here trying to show you how to fix it out of package because you should be smart enough. If you aren't, too bad. Well, let's get into the articulation. If there are any issues with this guy, it's pretty much the same issues as all the other fans toys. Tolerances are all over the places please but the arm rotates right here super tight the arm goes out to there bicep swivel elbow bend slightly more than 90 degrees wrist does this and fingers open all together at once the elbow started off really tight but the more I mess with it it is they are now both kind of loose on me now, what I'm talking about tolerances, this thing right here is just like their jazz or jive. Sometimes it's so tight when you want to rotate it that way, it will make this lift up past the notch. Right now, it seems to be staying solid, so I'm not going to harp on that too much. You saw me rotate the waist. Because of the way this all connects right here, like... Once you plug in these two pieces, you would have access to that as an ab crunch, but you don't anymore. And it's very loose anyway. They used a new style of hips where this hip under here moves separately, but then when you kick too much forward, it brings everything back like that, which I do like, and you do hear the ratchets. This panel right here comes out on the side so he can kick out all the way. And you do get thigh rotation. The knees are the same as the elbows as far as the more I mess with it. There are no ratchets. The more it feels a little bit loose. And there is a ball joint down here. So you get this, that, and they purposely molded this so you can get more ankle pivot. And the foot can kick forward and back in, in it. Since it's on the ball joint, it rotates. That's what the bottom of the foot looks like. Oh, I did not show the neck. The neck rotates and there is a hinge. That seems like it goes that far, but because of the head swapping gimmick, you can go all the way up, which is very useful for one of the weapons that he comes with. 
this cannon right here that he tried to shoot Megatron with. There is a ratchety type motion right there. It's keyed, but basically it looks like this. Maybe they should have come with a blast effect. You put it in the hand. Which is easier said than done because that's a thick handle, to be honest. But you got to get it over into that groove, basically. I'm going to come back with the pose. Basically, in the first episode of G1, he was something like this with his cannon. This is adjustable. But because of the way his arms are shaped, getting him to, like, put his hand over there or get it, like, in front of his eye and stuff kind of difficult. I mean, I guess you could rotate his head to be like that. Other than that, he can actually stand up with this, so there's that. He does also have a standard blaster. It's kind of closely reminiscent of Bumblebee's blaster, except it has the wings on the side. Plug it in the same way. The handle is actually thinner though, so it's easier. And there is a hole in the barrel. There's that. And the reason why the head can lift up, because you can lift it up and basically slide it off. And I'm just gonna grab the first one I can. Let's slide that on, bring it down. And here he is having fun shooting at Deceptic Creeps. Here he is still having fun or maybe talking mid or mid conversation. I'm pretending maybe he's talking into a communicator that's in his arm that you can't see. And now he's straight up pissed. So there you are. Or ah, maybe he's about to get attacked. That giant planet is coming right for us. I can't do his voice. But uh, yeah, there you are. I'm gonna go more into these water skis and vehicle mode but here's something tm tm reviews wanted me to show off because he's messing around i guess and said nobody else did it but i don't know if that's actually true i watched a couple reviews and that was that or oh, mostly transformations but there's that and yeah thankfully they made this guy to scale with bumblebee 2.0 as you can see but they updated this, the design so that the backpack could be, the backpack and the feet can be miles better. But you can see the inspiration, really. So maybe they'll make a Bumblebee and release it through some other fake company name, or maybe not. And I don't have an Autobot logo because I don't have the white outline version. I just got ones like that or ones that actually do have white in the background you know what i mean here's an image of what cliff jumper looks like on the cartoon and you notice that his logo is basically white instead of red since he's all red after the transition he will be in vehicle mode if you want to see the transformation i did that in a separate video link in the description and link at the end of the video i'll be back at the end with final thoughts Okay, here's parkour in his vehicle mode, which I think came out really good. It's really reminiscent of the original toy and the cartoon. Let's put this here in, or this direction. I don't know which direction to put it in, but here's an image of what the cartoon looked like in the vehicle mode right there. And yeah, it's like a chibi version of the Porsche that he became. As you see, he has the nice silver chrome hubcaps. And yeah, very stylized right there. You can't really tell whether it has red lights or not because it's just straight up red. But I think it came together very nicely. And I do like the chrome detail right there that they put to distinguish the lights right there. Here's what it looks like on the bottom features this door can open up on both sides but there is no interior detail or any type of seat detail so getting a human in there 
Good luck. Shut that. You might have to like squeeze to get everything back together. You can take this cannon right here and even this gun. You will have to rotate it like that, bring that back. And this should, wait, no, it's, it's back here. Sit like that while this little nub can fit into that little groove right there. So there you are. Now you can carry his cannon and these sled pieces. They're designed to look like this, where you have the clip on one side. There are two matching pieces. What you do is take the clip, put it on the inside of the wheel right here. So behind the rubber tire, clip it and get it to stay like that. Because Transformers on a cartoon were magic. They could do whatever they needed to do. So do that on both sides, I'm gonna cut away. But now here we are, and now he can jet ski across the water because it was necessary for that episode. And once again, when you start messing around with this guy, that's the one bad thing about this. If you manipulate it more than just rolling it, it starts coming apart. It, these connections aren't like the tight tightest, but yeah. I doubt anybody will be doing all this every single time. Here's what it looks like on the bottom. If you don't want the gun, that's what it looks like. And these come right off very easily. I don't see it damaging the tires or anything. Here's a comparison between the Bumblebee 2.0 from Takara Tomy, who is taller, but definitely not as long. Let's show you that. Which is probably accurate to the real car, but both of these are chibi little cars. So, there you go. I really like this car mode. And I like the extras that they gave you. They give you just enough to be able to do the things that he did in the cartoon. And he's right in line with this bumblebee, as you can see. So, looks great, can't really complain about it too much. If I do have any type of complaints, no matter how much I squeeze, I cannot get that to come together. Pretty much just like I couldn't get this to come together on bumblebee. Now I see my problem out of focus. Can't get that to come together, can't get that to come together. It's it's weird because these are two completely different robots, but unlike this Bumblebee, where I couldn't get all this stuff to come together, he comes together better than that, which is great. Final thoughts. I like that he scales with this Bumblebee. It looks cool with their jazz. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I wish that you could use this ab crunch in some type of way. I mean, you can, you can technically do it, but it takes a lot of effort. Like you have to detach this, detach this. And once you free that up, you do technically have access to that, but it's very loose. I mean, you can bend it, and then if you don't want it to be wobbling around, instead of plugging this peg into the bottom loop, you plug it into the top loop, and now he has it. So there's that option. So you can do that for pictures, and it's good that he can still look up while doing that. So yeah, he's crazy posable. And his proportions are correct. I really like it. I wish this looked better, to be honest, to be 100, 100%. I do wish the backpack 
looked better, even if it was transformed correctly, which is not right now. But, um, yeah. Outside of that, I don't have too many problems. So it's a good figure, and I can recommend it. Toy Dojo. Link in the description. But anywho, thank you all for watching this video. Check out the transformation only video, T-Man978's How To. Link in the description. Until next time, T-Man978, out here. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click the channel.